sick? No. I know the sick cam is about 8 a.m. It is, what day is it? It is Thursday, March 29th. And this is Louie, in case you all didn't know. We've been up for about an hour drinking coffee and reading. I always read before I start my day. Um, and I figured, speaking of starting my day, a couple of my topics on YouTube coming up, I'm trying to think of how they can't be sit down chats with you guys because the last like, couple of informative videos were sit down chats and I just wanna mix things up a little bit. So I was like, I'm gonna do a day in my life vlog because I actually don't know if I've really done one of those in a long time. And a lot of people ask about time management and how I do what I do. And so I'm just gonna do that today. So today's gonna be a day in the life. It's gonna be a vlog. And Louie's gonna probably take over many times. And he's probably gonna whine. He does this thing where he's like, mm. <laughs> all right, so the book I've been reading, y'all love the content I've been sharing on Instagram from this book. This is a textbook, guys. This is not a book. <laughs> like when I preface it's a textbook, it's huge. It's bigger than my face. It is over 400 pages. I can get through about 10 pages a day. This is pretty heavy content, like real heavy content. And I want my reading comprehension to be on point. So I typically just read about 10 pages. I unfortunately can't travel with this book either because it's so big. This book is just gonna take me a while to get through, but it's called The Women's Book. Women's Book by Lyle McDonald and Eric Helm. Available on uh, Lyle McDonald's website. It is available both in a print form and a PDF form. I got the bundle so I could have one on my computer and I have to have hard copies. Like, that's just me. Comment below if you're that way too, but I cannot read digital all the time. Like, it's okay for me to do it a little bit, but I need that time and space away from my computer. So hard copy works for me, but I got it directly from Lyle McDonald's website. So yeah, if you guys know, if y'all been around for a while, y'all know we put animals on our mugs and we think that's cool. That's our little Buddha guy. So what's on the agenda today? Nothing exciting. That's why I don't typically film these because my days are never really exciting. I'm gonna work. My husband's off for most of the day today. He does have to go in tonight for a couple hours. That is why you guys don't see him that much because I don't see him that much. So I'm hoping this day in my life vlog can have a little bit of him in it because y'all been asking, where's he been, where's he been? He just has a really hard schedule, guys. Like, it's a hard schedule for both of us. Him not being here, you know, a lot is struggle. Um, it's also a struggle for somebody who works from home, so I'm home by myself. Um, and I'm just kind of lonely sometimes, so then when he gets here, I just kind of latch onto him. And I, you know, I don't want to be working necessarily, and sometimes I have to when he's here, and that's disheartening, but it's okay, it's just, our life right now. He's here, we're gonna go train legs at Katie's. I'm gonna work and show you guys, I guess, my routine there, because you guys wanna know about my time management. And one of those things, actually, that helps with time management <laughs> is not vlogging <laughs> and not getting on social media. All right, let's eat breakfast. Good morning. Good morning. What are you doing? Hi. Look how cute you are. Hey, where's your big brother? Where's her? Is she still sleeping? actually my blood which is disgusting I'm sorry Ooh, yes I cut my finger we're starting off strong here today I try not to eat when I'm working because I try to be focused on my food rather than eat 
But in the instance of time management today, oh God, this really hurts. My husband's gonna wake up and I don't wanna be able to spend as much time with him. So I'm going to work as much as I can until he wakes up. Sleep in. Why? Right. Mm, so I get some work done. Well, wait. See, you can't get work done while I'm awake. I don't understand the issue. Here. I just feel bad working when you're awake here. You're not feel bad. Do not feel bad. Of course. Time for me to start work, and you're in the way. People ask about my computer setup. I thanks to my husband, have a computer display. This is like the hub and it plugs into here and then I get a big option of a screen here and then I get a little screen option here. But so I do get dual screen options and this makes me super productive. And we got girl coming in to her reverse diet strong. Hopefully gonna get her on stage here this year sometime soon. She look good. So I'm gonna work a solid. Maybe I am still bleeding y'all. It's like a lot deeper than I thought it was. I did it with one of our brand new knives. I'm gonna work for two hours. So you guys are gonna hold me accountable to this. And then I'm gonna probably get ready for the gym. I said, when are you gonna eat breakfast? When? Yes. I don't know. When are you gonna eat it? I already ate it. You ate my breakfast? I did. No, I was asking because I have my pre-workout meal that I need to eat before we work out. So I just want to time it right. Maybe I'll eat my pre-workout meal um, with my breakfast. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to eat that around 11. Well, I'm going to get ready for the gym around 11. Then I'll eat that around 11.30. What are you doing? Nothing. What are you doing? Nothing. Bye. Bye. So it's like 10.35 and I have almost one whole client program done and I've been able to put my post up on Instagram. I typically try to post in the morning if I have content, um, if I have something relevant to say. Um, it's just a good time for me to do so. I don't know if it's, a, if it's the best time to do so. I have no idea the research behind that. I just tend to always have time in the morning to do so or I'll typically post, if it's like a workout related post, I typically post it after my workout sometime in the evening. Just got that up. I've got one client program done. I've got one more to do. I might be able to finish before we head off to the gym. I try to have my pre-workout meal about two and a half hours after my first meal. Just posted a YouTube video yesterday. It was my Petula review. So if you guys haven't seen that, be sure to check that out. I would greatly appreciate that. What I typically do is if I can plan it accordingly, I have a video ready to edit as soon as I'm, or content ready to edit as soon as I'm done editing one video. Or if not, once I'm done editing one video, I go ahead and decide what I'm going to plan for my next video, i.e. this one was a day in the life of me. And that is what you're getting to see now. So I try not to have, whoa, so many text messages coming through. Um, This is Emery from Paragon. Okay, so I will get to that after. So yes, I might plan out my day and then I muted you. Okay. Mm. While I will plan out accordingly my day. Certain things come up like text messages, emails that I have to attend to. That can lengthen out my work day, but I'm gonna go ahead and attend to those emails right now or those questions. I think he's asking me potentially about a future launch. It's a little after 11, but I got a client and a half programming done. So now I'm gonna get ready for the gym.
these are some of my essentials for my getting ready for the gym setup. So this is my Cover FX Primer, Cover FX BB Cream. This is the shit. No kidding. Like best BB cream ever. I go with medium deep here. The Laura Mercier bronzer. That is what I put on my cheeks and sort of lightly contour my face for the gym. Then this is my powder I use. You can't see it. Uh, this is True DeVitt, I think. To be honest, I'm not sure, but my friend gave me this and it's a perfect color for me. Notice how my stuff has like a yellow undertone to it because my skin has yellow undertones. Becca highlight is the best. Do it real fast. So this is my eyebrow color that I get from my eyebrow artist and I use that in conjunction with my Anastasia Dip Brow. This is the light palette. I always, it's my go-to for the gym look. I typically tend to use these here for a gym slash just day look. Concealer. I actually use this Anastasia Banana. Again, a yellow undertone concealer stick for my under eye. Then I just lightly touch up my face with this contour powder kit. Here, again, more yellow undertones. This is my mascara primer because I don't have my lash extensions in right now. And then I use this either the Marc Jacobs. This is a sample, but I will be buying this. This is amazing. So this Sephora Outrageous Curl. I use it for my inner corner lashes that are small and tiny, and I'll show you why. Oh, my beauty vlogging skills are terrible. <laughs> but it's a really precise wand. That's really all I can say about that. So it, it helps me get into my corner and my inner corner lashes so much better than like a big chunky one, like a big chunk. Like this one's great, but it's so thick that I just, I make a mess in my inner corners. That's why. Mineral setting powder, spray your face with this all night setter. This all night is perfect because it doesn't have any shine and it helps with sweat control on my face. All right, so there is my final look for the gym. I do like to wear makeup to the gym because I like to wear makeup to the gym. Hate me. If you do, that's fine. That's cool. You do you. I go to the gym and sometimes I stay in this look for more hours than I want to or than I probably should, but that's probably the reason why is I run errands and I go do things and then maybe I shower midday or later in the afternoon. I don't know, but this is my go-to gym look. It's pretty simple. Pretty easy, it just makes me feel refreshed. It makes me feel awake when I actually like put on my makeup so it's like a waking up process. Come on, we're gonna go to the gym. Hey, you wanna go to the gym? You wanna go? You wanna go to the gym? Well, hi. <laughs> Welcome to the last part of this vlog, which is going to be the last half of my day in the life of, second day of my day in the life of. Honest mistake, I chose to try to film a full day in the life of me on a day when my husband was off from work and off, like, well, I should say off for the majority of the day to where I could spend some quality time with him and that is my mistake. I shouldn't have planned to do that, like I told you guys. Our home life is very, 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 very much so non-traditional. His job is very demanding of his time and it has therefore translated into my job demanding a lot of my time, meaning I choose to, you know, work every day of the week. I, I don't take a day off. I know that this isn't truly, like, healthy, but I rest on the laurels of the fact that like some days I don't have as many client check-ins as others and those days are a lot easier. And I can manage those within like the first two to three hours of the day and then I can have time, you know, to run errands, to clean the house, to do things that I need to do. But with that said, with him not being home, I, I do work a lot because I just choose to, because it takes my mind off of the fact that like my husband's not home with me a great deal of time at all. <laughs> Since he's been employed with this particular company, he's never really had weekends off. That's not a thing in our house. He occasionally has had evenings off, but that's also not a thing in our house. Frilly and wrongly yesterday, but I didn't wanna not have that footage in. I didn't wanna have not have this chat with you guys because this is the honest day in my life. Like, things aren't picture perfect for everybody and my day in my life is created by me and I'm very grateful for that but 
at the same sense, like I'm at the mercy of his schedule sometimes and I'm at the mercy of his job. We've been able to make this work for the past six years because we'll be six years happily married on in May, but it doesn't come with its fair share of challenges. Just like every marriage and every person's work comes with its fair share, fair share of challenges. But every person has a different day in their life and unfortunately sometimes the day in life is picture perfect and when in actuality it's not. So if I was to delete yesterday's footage and then start over from today, first off I wouldn't have been able to be present today in a vlog in that way and better to me in my eyes to be present to you guys in this emotional time for myself because this is what like a day in my life of is typically right now. It's just we're at a really really challenging crossroads together and we're making it happen the best that we can but you know competing has always in the past been like a huge filler in my life for when he can't be around as much and so the fact that I'm like not competing anytime soon um, and don't have that prep like I don't have that to fall back on you know I try to read a lot but ultimately like I I find my time pass, passes away when I work or it passes away when I edit a video so that's why my content's been higher recently that's why I'm able to do what I'm able to do with my clients right now I'm just I'm very blessed in the sense that I've able been able to create this environment for myself but just understand that like this is the day in the life of Chanel. It's awesome what I've been able to do for myself and for our marriage and to be able to be with each other. Um, I can be with him whenever he can be off. Like I can make that time. I'm not at the mercy of somebody else telling me to be at work at a specific time. You know, I get taken care of what I have to get taken care of with my clients and then I can truly be present with him and that is what I needed to do yesterday. Not worry about blogging because he just, he needed my attention yesterday. <sighs> So you guys are just gonna get me while I'm driving because I've come to the conclusion after trying to film a full day in my life that unless you have somebody to film this day in your life for you like have somebody wandering around for you I feel like I just do what I what I need to do and then I tell you about it <laughs> oh and I also have really bad hiccups and they've been here for like 30 minutes now like somebody has somebody filming them and they're like doing cute things like going to the grocery store and like laughing and giggling but I've come to the conclusion that it's simply just me doing something and then telling you about what I'm doing because I can't physically do things and film at the same time by myself unless I set up a tripod every time I need to do something and that's just really not productive but uh, moral is that this is challenging and I'm just learning that but I decided I would try something for you guys you guys because you asked and I thought I'd try it I've never done a full day in my life but yes I'm heading off to yoga right now I told you guys I was doing that so this is a restorative woo, restorative workshop so it is 90 minutes so I will be here from 5 30 to 7 so i went ahead and got one client program done before i left home which is great that leaves me only one to do when i get home but i might actually stop at starbucks after the workshop and work for a little bit because you know it's friday night and i should not be necessarily ch running back to go home i guess but instead going home going to work I, I don't know this is my life guys like this is what i do i just this is honestly how i manage my time uh, my clients check in with me periodically throughout the day, so I have a, li a list of who I'm expected to hear from, and as I hear from them, like, I get to work, if that makes sense. Like, I don't, um, I can't assume what, what their programming is going to need to do until I hear from them, so I just, you can't really work in advance. Some people have always asked me about that in my family. Oh, well, can't you just do a little bit now, and then we can go somewhere later, or we can do the, do a little bit now, and then we can do something tomorrow, and I'm like... No, it doesn't really work that way. I wish there was some differences, but I'm just very, very particular about my coaching programming. <laughs> and I'm kind of like, I have my set ways of doing things and I love how I do it. And I feel like my clients really thrive in the way that I do it. Worked for years in customer service and in food service. And like, your, your customer is always right. Your guest is always right. Your client is always right. And like, they're paying for a service. And I just like, I really truly believe in that I am not at their mercy per se they're always all so respectful when I do have to change things because you know life happens or I'm traveling or whatnot they're always so understanding but 
I do prioritize them. They are they are my they are my people. Like that. They are my they are my gig. That's how I like prioritize my day, if you will. It's like I get things done when I'm waiting for check check-ins and what I don't get finished. I know that like as my day concludes, like that's what I've got to finish. That's just how it works for me. All right, I am going to go to this restorative seminar. I'm so excited about it. Abaca is a instructor here in Louisville who specializes in like great restorative practice. I've heard how wonderful she is for that purpose. I've only taken her like vinyasa classes thus far and her vinyasa classes are stellar. But so I'm doing that and I will see you guys probably for the conclusion of this vlog either at a coffee shop or at home. I haven't decided. Bye. beautiful gaze of light <laughs> in my face. Uh, so I just got done with the class. Oh my gosh. I can't say enough how wonderful restorative yoga is. Like, guys, if you have access to a restorative class with bolsters that utilize props to help bring the ground up to you to where you can relax in some of these positions and really just kind of melt into the floor. Oh my God, it's amazing. Like, I cannot, I, I mean, I was asleep like a rock in almost every single position and I just I love it so much and I hope I hope I hope that this becomes a monthly offering at my yoga studio because uh, and I also need to purchase my own bolsters now I'm gonna pop into this coffee shop because I'm freezing and I want hot coffee which she warned us that our body would be pretty cold so all over great day much better than yesterday it's lovely how that happens I feel like I was washy bowl of mashed potatoes right now. So I feel like definitely the rest of this vlog would be downhill quickly because I just feel like I'm sloshing around in my own body, which is a good thing, great thing. All right, let's go get some coffee. What's up, up? I know, I know. You're a mess. Oh. <laughs> 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 I'm gonna take off my face. <laughs> Do you love your ring? This was a frisbee. This was a frisbee. When he gets it, he'll he wears it. See, look, he wears it. It's so funny. <laughs> oh my gosh, you're so funny. We're gonna go to bed here soon. Are we gonna go to bed soon? Thank you guys so much for letting me have a space that I can be open and honest with you guys and record a real day in life, days in my life for you guys because that makes me happy. And please give me a thumbs up if you like this vlog. Since it was like a, my first real vlog in a while, I would love it if you liked, give it a thumbs up. Oh, that's nice. It's like 9.48. And we're tired, aren't we? And then Hershey's gonna go to bed with us too. All right guys, give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Subscribe to my channel if you'd like to see more vlogs. So I know that you guys like more than just when I do the sit down chats and reviews, that would be nice. <laughs> if you don't like vlogs, that's fine too. We can keep doing the other stuff, but some people like vlogs, so I like to give a little bit of everything. Comment below if you like this little man more. Mm, so cute. Say bye bye. Can you say bye bye? Hey, say bye bye. Hey, say bye bye. He's like, he's like the little meme. Ooh, he's gonna do my bye bye. All right, give us a thumbs up. Subscribe to our channel. See you guys in the next one. Bye bye.